They preach, but they do not practice. Whoever humbles himself will be exalted. My dear brothers and sisters, the Pharisees and the scribes made religion an intolerable burden by making thousands upon thousands of rules and regulations, but they are mainly for advertisement. They are for show. According to them, more is better. But anything that is done in excess or anything that is done in an exaggerated manner of what is perceived to be normal is not at all inspiring. The Pharisees wanted to be given the principal places at meals and banquets. The Pharisees always wanted to occupy the front seats. The Pharisees wanted to be treated with this deep respect by others. The Pharisees loved to draw attention to themselves. The Pharisees were also overly strict, unreasonably meticulous, and very legalistic. Their kind of religion is almost describable as a religion of ostentation, a religion of display, a religion of flamboyant show, but any religion that produces ostentation in action and pride in the heart is a false religion. Whenever religion becomes a burden, whenever religion becomes a show or a display, it ceases to be an authentic religion it ceases to be an authentic relationship with god why is this so because the whole design of a christian is to obliterate oneself so that if people will see his good deeds they will not glorify the person involved but they will glorify god that is why the lord accuses the scribes and the Pharisees of hypocrisy, of insincerity. They are hypocrites. They are pretenders. They are actors. These are the people who put on an external show, but inwardly their thoughts and their feelings are far from God. Because a Pharisee may mislead others a pharisee is not a guide but a barrier to the kingdom of god that is why the lord warned the disciples do everything and observe everything that they tell you but do not follow their example my dear brothers and sisters this is a blunt indictment of hypocrisy. Do not imitate the callousness of these people, their lack of compassion, their disregard for justice. Do not follow their example. What is the best example that we can mention in our reflection? Remember the instance when the Lord wash the feet of the disciples the washing of the feet means bending love in love the washing of the feet is a gesture that the apostles would never forget because our lord turned the idea of authority upside down authority is service authority is not about power Authority is not about domination. It is not about control. That is why in another instance, the Lord said, As I have done, so you also should do. My dear brothers and sisters, 
I have many other things to say, but the seminarians will have their midterm exams today. I'd like to give them more time to study. Amen. All stand, please.